Hey Mark, how you doing man? Ladies gotta do her business. You can hear the killdeer in the background right now. This is her happy time. Of course. Hey, Amy Morris. Nobody can kick grass quite like Cricket can. Oh. Yeah, it actually is kind of nice right now. You have to excuse me for just a moment. I've got to clean up a mess. It is still daylight. Nope, come on, Cricket. Come here. Sit. Come on. Can you sit? Thank you. Yep. It happens. Usually it doesn't happen quite so early in the walk. Dog's going crazy. <laughs> Watch anything, Walter? Hey. Oh no, the bag has a hole in it. That's that's lovely. That's always lovely. It's not quite where you want the hole. All right, I do have a backup bag. You never know what you're going to find around here, though. So she's just being very patient. Yes. Pick up my business. Thank you. Here we go. Come on, Cricket. Back on a walk. Luckily, there's a garbage can around here. And evening. Come on. Thank goodness. Oh, huh, you never know if people are going to throw away. <laughs> Some mailbox? I don't think so. Come on, Cricket, we're going this way. So lovely, we have a little park in our, near our house. So we're just going for a walk up here in the park. <laughs> that is what you call a grab bag. Come on. So trying to make it up over the ridge to catch the uh, the sunset. There's just a ton of gnats in here today. Whew. Probably can't hear them, but boy, they are buzzing my ear. Oh, that's right, Mark. It could be a mystery bag. You never know. Cricket is a good walker. That is one thing I appreciate. She pretty much stays even with me the entire walk. Sometimes she gets a little excited and pulls ahead, but you know, we can usually stop and reset and she'll sit. Uh, sit, All right. Happy dog. Funny comment about the mystery bag there. New game, Cricket finds the mystery bags. Oh boy. Well, you know, you put some cookies in it and uh, she'll find them. Lovely surprise. Sun is mostly set on the horizon. Let's see. So here's where we're headed. Oh, come on. The 
back of our neighborhood. It's a giant gravel pit. <laughs> it's been converted to a storage unit. Here we go. So there's the sun. And the puppy. And a random car is about to drive by. Yeah, it is a beautiful sunset. Uh, Cricket and I used to time our walks to come right up to the top of this hill, right as the sunset. It's just fun to make it up here and watch it drop over the horizon. You got the plane flying up, up, up there. And then up here, you can't really see it. There's a little black dot right here. It's the little plane flying by. Yeah, I love a good sunset. And uh, it's got one of the best views up here throughout the year. And you can't quite tell, but over here is... Oh. Hold on, I've got to change hands here with the leash. But there's an RV park, or RV parking lot. It's not an RV park, but a bunch of folks park their RVs down there. It used to be farmland back there, but it's all getting paved over for houses these days. Hey, Rhonda. And there's an old chicken farm back here that's now been converted to storage units. And then back here is a gravel pit. But... Sunset's fun to come up here and catch it. There's a major uh, road that goes right along here too. You can see all the cars driving. Oh, Rhonda, this is just a unexpected bonus stream. I'm walking the dog right now. We did our game. Tried to get out quickly. Hey, Maria, doing great and popped on here. I'm not sure how much power or juice I've got in the phone. There's a little cricket. Yeah, Walter, I want to try to do this uh, more often, especially in the now that we're hitting the summer months. I prefer walking the dog at night or in the evening. I like to kind of bookend my day that way. And if we can do something, we'll, we'll do it. It's always going to be walking in the same place, though. You know, I don't have a lot of places to, to go, but we can certainly do something. Sit. Come on. Thank you. What do you think, Cricket? Sit. Should we do more walks in the evening? Yeah. I think Cricket votes for that. It's her happy place. See all the bugs flying around. Hey, Debbie. Miss Cricket's definitely enjoying her her evening walk. A little too excited there. Evening. Thanks, Maria. We will continue that as much as we can. Yeah, Walter, I know, man. These are the best of times. I'm well, well aware of that. 
Well, Bob, it was your, your statement tonight that inspired me to just go ahead and do it. It's not perfect, but you know what? Why not? Let's have some fun. Okay. Oh, I hear a magpie. Sometimes when we're walking up around here, we find a, a quail like to come up here at night. The magpies as well. Oh yeah, do your business. Let's see if we can find those magpies, huh? When Cricket could see better, <laughs> she loved to come up here and watch the horses. Uh, there, used, there was a field, actually there still is a field that has a few horses in it, but she doesn't really, she can't really see them these days. Hey, look, this reminds me of something we saw in the uh, coin pusher. Yes, all the calling cards. Oh, she didn't stop, she didn't do it. I thought for sure she would. She's being really picky. And if we get buffering or something, I, I probably won't know it or realize it. Yeah, that's been a popular spot right here. It's dead. Yeah, Walter, I agree, man. Walter, I hope everything is... Uh, I hope things get better with the recovery from the fire and everything, Walter. That's, uh, there we go, mark some territory. So this is one of the uh, magpie trees. They'll come up here and hang out in that tree. Oh, there goes one right there, I can hardly tell. Looks really small on camera. Yeah, we could probably do something like that. Come on, Cricket. Well, of course, there's another sign. She is world famous for her uh, grass kicking, let me tell you. We've seen her do grass kickings for like a minute straight. Come on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's come back here for a second. Come back here for a second. Have a seat. Stay. So here's the kind of the back side of that hill. Looks very small on camera, but there's a water tower way the heck down there. You can just barely see. That's enough. Sit. Come on. Thank you.
Yeah, she gets very energetic. She loves to go. Sun has definitely gone well past the horizon now. Come on, girl. Found another tree. <laughs> hey, Becky G. Yeah, I should be pretty quiet though. So hopefully it's just put us on the background. Maybe we'll we'll walk you to sleep. It's the cricket show. There's the horses. She can't really see them these days. Let's go walk over there. So there's a little farm over here. I shouldn't say a farm, but there's a house with a small pasture. And they keep a few horses, a couple painted ponies. And we used to come up here and there was a huge rock pile we'd climb up. You can see him in the background right there. We gotta stay away from the long grass tick season starting up right now, so. Not gonna get too close. Oh, you have a plan, don't you, Cricket? Come on back over here. Come on, this way. Oh, come on. Let's have a seat. So in the town we live in, uh, all these homes here, homes all along the horizon, this was just all farmland a couple years ago. Let's see. Hey, hopefully I'm back. But this property over here used to be owned by the owners of that gravel quarry, quarry I was showing you before. Uh, many years ago, they were, uh, it used to, has a tennis court, and a bunch of other things. It's been sold a couple times and now it's being re-renovated, but it was an amazing house at one point. Oh, we better move. I hear sprinklers coming on. Oh dear, come on cricket, we gotta move. Sprinkler are about to pop on. Yeah, right where we were, the sprinklers are getting ready to pop up. There they go. Yeah, I did not want to get covered in irrigation water tonight. <laughs> Even though it's warm, it's in the 80s right now. But I've gotten ringworm from irrigation water before, so I'll, I'll pass on it. Somewhere over here, you can hear the crickets or frogs. Now, this sounds like crickets to me. I'm not talking about you. Good night, Becky. Sweet dreams. Now we're heading down that hill we were standing at the top of. Come on, we don't want to stop over here. It's too close to Tickland. No, come on. In fact, I think I'm going to cross over this road here. There's too many good smells back where we were.
There we go. Now she can smell to her heart's content. What's funny is she's she's a good line follower. Look at her. She's just following that curb right there. We used to take her to the dog park and she would follow the sidewalk all the way around the dog park. It was her favorite thing to do. Oh, she's smelling the internet. That's a telecommunications box. That's where all of the this neighborhood's uh, internet connections are going. Yeah, she loves the grass. And there's some fresh uh, smells there. So I can see evidence. Come on. Come on. Keep on smelling. Usually we just go straight down the sidewalks. I don't usually do so much... Uh, walking through the grass, but we've got you guys with us tonight, so. Here we go. Let's go see what's this way. Now that was all community grass. We're now in the neighborhood. So, of course, it's rude to let your dog walk on other people's grass and do her business. So, she's pretty good. Do, 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 do. And it is garbage night. Appropriate theme for the game tonight. Garbage night in the neighborhood. Garbage night on the channel. Was not planned that way, by the way. It just kind of happened. little cool breeze blowing through. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised it did too, Walter. Definitely a more limited audience, though. If you look at our normal streams, we're at, you know, 40, 50. Walking the dog, eh. It's better this way. Let's go across the street. Make sure it's clear. It's clear. She does not like sewer covers. She totally, if there's a sewer cover in the middle of a sidewalk, she will tiptoe around that thing. When we got her as a puppy, we'd go for walks. And the very first time we went for a walk, she, did, she had this fear of sewer grates. And they usually make some kind of a, a noise and stuff. Oh, we got some sprinklers going on. Let's go walk around. Come on. There's some sprinklers. Monday walk night. Eh, could be a thing, Walter. Have to think about it. I've got to get back in the habit of walking every night. It was a thing for me for a while. It really, it really helped. She enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Oh, maybe. Maybe it could be a Monday night thing. We'll have to see.
And now we've got a few houses still under construction. A few remnants in this area. And there's one cool looking modern house down here where we're walking. You can see it at the end of the block. It's recently built. Sherry really enjoys the modern style. Oh, there's a dog. A loose dog. Come on. Come on. It happens. He's staying on his property though, so. Cricket said that was interesting. Well, the dog did stay within the property line, so that's good. There's that house. Well, that dog is trying. We're heading away. It's definitely getting darker. Looks like some paint washout tubs left from the construction job. She is in charge. What the heck? Yeah, we're probably going to do some merchandise at some point. And we joke about the shipping and stuff. Beginning, you know, oh, it's crazy, but it's really not too bad. There we go, there's some light. Uh, here's another, another house. This is still, uh, this is on the market to be sold. Hasn't been occupied yet. Garage is empty, lights are on. Probably should have shut them off before they close for the day. It's got a lovely little courtyard. There's the moon. Hello, Mr. Moon. But it's got way too many steps. And it's getting super dark. Ah, it's Shadow Dog. And we're going to walk up this little little pathway here there's this will eventually be another little park in the neighborhood right now it's just a bunch of dirt come on
All right, everybody, thanks for joining us again. That was fun. We're gonna wrap up the live stream. My battery's about to die on the phone. So thanks again for joining us. A lot of fun. And uh, we'll catch you on tomorrow night's FIP. And uh, maybe we'll do this again. Cricket, are you happy? Yeah, totally. Good night, everybody.